Hi there Impala owners. Today in your 2019 Chevrolet Impala, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install Draw Tight's one and a quarter inch trailer hitch receiver. And this is what our hitch looks like when it's installed. The cross beam for the most part is going to be tucked up behind the fascia, so you're really only going to notice the receiver here at the back. It's a class two, one and a quarter by one and a quarter receiver, so it's going to be great for light duty applications and accessories. If you have a bike rack you want to load in here, you could easily load it up with a couple of bikes, or you could put a cargo carrier on here to help take some of the load inside of your vehicle from out of it. It uses a half inch hitch pinning clip. Now one doesn't come included with the hitch, but we have plenty available here at eTrailer.com. On bottom, we have plate style safety chain loops that has a medium size opening that should accommodate most safety chains. It features a 300 pound tongue weight, which is the force going down on top of the receiver. And that's gonna be plenty for a bike rack loaded up with a couple of bikes. So if you're looking to just take a couple of bikes with you, you're good to go. You could also put a cargo carrier in it, but you won't be able to load it up to the maximum with that. And you can also do some very light towing with this as well. It also features a 3,500 pound gross towing capacity, which is how much that it can pull behind it. And again, that's going to be enough for you to be able to put a ball mount in here and have a very small utility trailer to get a little bit of work done if you need to. You could also use it to bring a small kayak trailer or something else like that if you want to use it for recreational activities. Now, as always, I recommend that you verify your vehicle's owner's manual and ensure you don't exceed any of your towing capacities. Now I've got some measurements for you to help you when deciding on accessories. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the rear bumper, it's going to be about 5 inches. This is important when determining if any of your folding accessories can be placed in the upright storage position without contacting the bumper. And from the ground to the top inside of the receiver tube, it measures about 12 inches. This is important when determining if you need to drop, a rise, or raise shank on any of your accessories. And since it is so low, I would recommend a raise shank on your accessories. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's go over the installation together so you can have the confidence to do it at home. We'll begin our installation underneath the vehicle by replacing a bolt on each side that holds our factory hanger in with a longer bolt. This is the bolt here we're gonna be removing. The head of it's on the other side and you use a 13 millimeter socket to remove it. Now, the thing I'm gonna do here is not necessary, but to make the removal and installation of the new bolts easier, we can take out the push pins on this lower panel here, and that'll just give us some more room to work to get our hands in there to get those bolts out. Now again, you don't have to do this, you can just reach up in there, but if you want more room, you can just pop the center of these pins out with a screwdriver or a trim panel remover tool. And there's just two of these on each side, and that'll just allow this panel to flex down making it easier to work up in there. We'll then take these out with our 13 millimeter socket. We'll take the long, thin bolts that come in our kit, slide the small washer on it, and then thread it right back into the hole where we took that bolt out. And then we can go ahead and snug this down using a 13 millimeter socket. We'll then do the same thing over on the other side. Then we can torque our bolts to the specifications found in our instructions. We can now install our forward bracket. That's going to install next to the lower control arm on the driver's side here at the rear. Our bracket's gonna angle just like this, so this little cutoff portion's gonna be at the bottom towards the front. And we're going to secure it using the medium length bolt that comes in our kit with a conical tooth washer on it. It's gonna slide through our bracket like that and thread into the handle nut that comes included in our kit. We just need to get it loosely installed at this time. So I'm just gonna run it down with my hand to where we can still angle it around if we need to. We can now slide the large washers that come in our kit over our long bolts that we installed. And we wanna make sure that when it's on there, it's all the way over the weld nut as well. And we're gonna have two of these on each side. We can now raise our hitch section into position. This is just gonna lift up and the ears are gonna sit on those bolts that we installed. 
and it's just gonna rest on those studs on each side. We can now place a conical tooth washer on it with the teeth facing towards the hitch and then follow that up with a nut. This will be the smaller nut that comes in your kit. We're gonna do that on the other side as well. We can now place our carriage bolts in. We're gonna be using the set of holes towards the front of the vehicle, not the rearmost holes here. And we're just gonna slide our carriage bolts down through the top. We can now take our midsection of our hitch and it's going to install in this position. Our flat plate here is gonna be on top of our beam and our slotted holes are gonna line up with our carriage bolts that we dropped down. The other end should line up with our front bracket as well. We're just gonna slide these onto our carriage bolts and then loosely secure it with a conical tooth washer and a nut, making sure that the teeth face up towards the hitch. We can now take the longer bolt that comes in our kit. We're gonna slide a conical tooth washer on it with the teeth facing away from the head and facing towards our hitch. We'll then slide it through our rear hitch piece, bring it up until it, the bolt goes through the hole in our forward hitch bracket. We'll slide another conical on it with the teeth facing down towards the bracket. And then we'll finish that off with a nut. We can now go back and tighten down all of our hardware. Our larger bolts we're gonna tighten down using a 19 millimeter socket, and our smaller bolts we're gonna tighten down using a 13 millimeter socket. We're gonna start by tightening down the smaller bolts. Then we can go back and tighten our larger bolts. And then we can go back and torque our hardware to the specifications found in our instructions. With everything torqued, we can come back to our handle nut now, and I just like to bend it out of the way so that way we can ensure it's not gonna get caught on any of our suspension components. And then we can reinstall the push pins that we had removed earlier. Now there is some minor trimming that you can perform if you want. You'll notice right now it doesn't look like it's in a bind or any kind of flex because we got those push pins out, but our fascia is actually hitting on the hitch right here on these edges where they meet, and it does kind of bow the fascia down a little bit. It's not gonna hurt it any to leave it bowed, so you can just leave it as is if you want, or you could come along with a cutoff wheel or some snips and just trim this off so it doesn't have any pressure on it. We're gonna be leaving ours today. And we're now ready to hook up our favorite accessories and hit the road. And that completes our installation of Draw Tight's one and a quarter inch trailer hitch receiver on your 2019 Chevrolet Impala.